all doing really really well welcome back to my channel and welcome back to yet another everything five pounds.com haul i am so grateful to be working with them again on today's video and as you guys know i am a big bargain hunter and if you're new to my channel then why not stick around if you love a bargain too and hit subscribe now this is a big box. This is moving into autumn, winter. Well, autumn, let's be honest. And there's no hiding the fact that autumn is my favorite season, not just in general in terms of the crisp, cold mornings, the pumpkin spice lattes, the indulgent months, the guilt-free Netflix and chill cozy days. I just love them. I love autumn also for autumn layering, autumn fashion. I feel like you can really play around with outfits and different styling and yeah I have managed to get my hands on some new bits from everything 5 pounds.com and if you're new to the brand or if you're new to my channel and haven't seen my previous hauls that I've done with them recently essentially what everything 5 pounds.com is it's an online retailer that sells everything for just a five pounds or less they do have some fashion from just a pound I mean if you saw my last haul that I did with them I managed to find a bargain steal the top shop blazer in fact I got two of them I'll leave my previous hauls that I've done with them recently linked below in the description box but for today let's jump in I think I'm gonna do it like stood up talking you through the items I'll do try on clips as always but the first item isn't a try on clip it is a bag so it's this kind of like puffer style bag which I thought would be really handy for out and about carrying my laptop especially when it is raining this like kind of coat material is um, going to keep my laptop nice and protected and then there's plenty of room inside for obviously my laptop charger, notebook, phone, purse, keys, whatever else I need. It is black but they did have other colours available as well. Okay the first of the knitwear and this is kind of a more lightweight knitwear I would say. It is a cardigan in this grey kind of fabric. It's not as chunky as I'm still keeping my eyes peeled for, I'm thinking House of CB vibes. I want a real chunky knit. This is more of a transitional good for this sort of time. A bit like this one actually. Quite a thin and lightweight which is nice to have like as an extra layer. The original brand is Scottish. If you don't know what everything 5 pounds.com they essentially get a lot of sort of old pre-season stock. Stock from high street retailers that no longer need the items. Saves them from going to landfill so you're getting them at a bargain price and you're doing good for the planet. Okay, next item I'm gonna show you, I actually picked up in a different colorway last haul that I did, and it's this linen scarf. I loved the last one, but it had threads of like gold running through it. And this one was a much more muted beige toned cream, which I just thought was really nice and natural good autumnal shades. It should be a drinking game, this video of like how many times can Freya say autumnal or autumn because it's gonna be a lot, so if you take a shot each time, <laughs> you might not be with me until the end of this video. Okay, this next one I'm actually gonna send back. It was a dress that reminded me of one that I had from All Saints years ago, in terms of the pattern. It's like a marble blush pink and gray, which is beautiful, but it's too sheer for how I intended on wearing this. I was thinking like wedding guest outfit. This is far more beach wear, so, I could save it for next year, but I think I might just send this one back. I do really like the high neck. I can tell where it's originally from. It is Primani. I do like the slit. It has a nice tied in drawstring waist, but because of the sheerness of it, it only really justifies it as either a beach dress or maybe one that you'd have to buy a slit for for underneath. Oh, this just makes me so happy. This is a beige knit chunky knit jumper i can't believe this is just five pounds it's a really nice soft fabric it's not going to be scratchy on the skin which is a must for me because i get sensitive skin nice to like half tuck into some jeans or maybe to layer over some leather leggings <sighs> i just love autumn fashion so much it is a really light beige almost like a mull as well because there's a lot of white threads running through this this would be really nice actually layered with a shirt underneath with the collar popping out how is that five pounds oh and speaking of white shirts this probably isn't the one that i would wear under that but this is the next find 
For the other one, I'm thinking like a crisp, structured white shirt. But this is definitely more of a, a cream, lightweight blouse. It's got the pocket details on the front. So the high street retailers that we love and recognise do tend to get cut out, like the Top Shops, H&M, Zara. But because I am a regular shopper of all those stores, I kind of recognise the labels. Quite often, I can figure out where they're from. I think this one is either like a Zara, Bershka or Stradivarius type brand. Again, nice and floaty and loose so that if you wanted to half tuck it into some blue mom jeans, straight jeans, that is just a really nice, simple outfit that looks well put together. I got that one in a UK 10. Next up, I got a simple, basic, strappy kind of cami top. I love the thick lacy design here on the front and this one did come in multiple colorways. I thought I would test the waters with it being white. I feel like this with a nude bra underneath would be absolutely fine. It is actually double, is it double layered? Oh, it is actually double lined on the front, which is a nice touch. I feel like you just got that added security of it not being sheer. So yeah, love this. This next blouse, I was thinking high-waisted jeans or leather leggings for a cocktails night out with some heels. It's a really nice champagne kind of nude colour with this beautiful satiny fabric, really nice and dressy. And it also has a slight puffy sleeve detail. Again, just adding that extra little something to make it a bit more of a dressier item. Moving on to the next item, I love this. I definitely feel like this could take me through to winter as well as a dressier kind of blazer. It's in a beautiful silky satiny fabric. And again, this label is the same as the other one that's been cut out. So I think it's from Zara, if not, Stradivarius or Bershka because they tend to have, or, or Pull and Bear as well, they tend to have the same labeling because they're the same company. This is essentially a all satin black blazer that I thought would look really nice belted because it is quite nice and long line. Um, it's got pockets here on the front as well. It's not structured, it's definitely like a floaty, flowy kind of fit. But as I said, with a nice kind of dramatic belt to cinch in the waist, I think it would dress up quite nicely. Moving on, this is yet another cozy autumn piece. It is a white hoodie, which I feel like white can be quite dangerous, especially in autumn winter when I tend to tag, I've got makeup. It's kind of one of those colors that you only really get to wear it once before it needs to go in the wash. Anyway, this hoodie is quite a thin, lightweight fabric. So this would be quite nice layered up with um, maybe like a nude blazer over the top and some jeans or leather leggings yet again and I'm pretty sure they had this in other colours as well definitely check out the menswear I always have a look because they quite often have plain oversized sweatshirts or even t-shirts as well good basics but if you get it from the menswear if you're wanting that oversized fit okay I picked up this I actually saw this on someone else's everything 5 poundscom haul on YouTube and I didn't realise it was a halter neck though that's the only thing that's kind of throwing me off with this other than that, it's a really nice ribbed cream bodysuit with a little keyhole detail here. It's actually got a really pretty lace detail. It's a popper button at the bottom and kind of a cheeky style on the back. I did pick this one up in a large and the branding on it is from Cherry Coco. Let's bring back the autumn vibes with a yet another cozy knit jumper. And this one is that soft eyelash material is that what it's called super super soft and like almost chenille like very luxurious feeling one where you literally find yourself just stroking because it's so soft it's like petting an animal i love the high neck of this the simple kind of fit and design is just perfect for layering yet again high-waisted jeans and leather leggings do I wear anything else during autumn? Not really. I suppose you could put it with a satin skirt. I did that a couple of times last year. I wore satin skirts with a nice cozy knit jumper over the top or a dress, like a long sleeved kind of smock style dress and then throw a cozy knit jumper over the top, especially if it's got a collar. But I tend to just wear the same old joggers around the house, jeans and leather leggings out the house. So this would work both in the house and out of the house. Cozy Netflix and chill days with my nice hot chocolate. Oh, I forgot to have my coffee. It's probably gone cold now. Ah, it's okay. Can you feel the vibes? Am I setting the scene? It's raining outside right now. 
in my element. Okay, next thing that I got, they actually sent me in the gray as well. So I saw that they had the gray, but I didn't pick out the gray, I picked up the cream. Very kind of them to send both, so thank you to everything5pounds.com. So they are the exact same, so I'll just show you the cream one. Um, and it's essentially a slip dress. So if you wanna get a bit glam, but round the house, in fact, that would be a good one to wear when I put fake tan on that grey one. You know, you just want something loose and floaty that's not really going to ruin your tan or touch your body if you put it on in the morning, but you've got things to do during the day around the house. So you can't walk around naked. That would be good for that. But this is a gorgeous, creamy, ivory kind of colour. I love this. It is double lined up to here. So from the bust down, it is just single layered. So I would probably just wear this round the house. When I'm feeling a bit glam and I just want something satiny kind of, it's like a 90 essentially. Another dress that I got in black is this plissé kind of fabric. If I show you up front, it's like a crinkle uh, kind of fabric. Quite a nice dressier fabric. I feel like this for an evening would be really nice if you had any Christmas work do's that you're looking for a nice midi dress. Plain and simple, high neck as well, which I think is really nice classy elegant cut i do love a high neck on a summer holiday where you want a nice lightweight dress for an evening but you just want to be comfy this could be nice for that the branding says big box and i got it in a small and it does actually have the original price on this 24.99 euros so to get this for a fiver absolute steal okay the last clothing item that i got now everything else that i did get are shoes boots and things like that which this box is full of it's probably my favorite of everything that i picked up clothing wise it's like an oversized jacket in black i don't know if they had another color lighter color i can't remember i'll leave everything linked below anyway in the description box as always but i love the double pocket detailing on the front and I love the oversized fit of this. Again, as that additional layer, autumn layering at its finest with this item. I did pick it up in a UK 10 to 12. And I quite like the fact that the buttons are all black as well. So it's all kind of monotone and seamless. Love that. Five pounds. How? Okay. Oh God, where to begin? I did pick up the last of the summery shoes because I feel like out of season stock is when you get the biggest bargain. So I did pick up couple of summary things this is the first pair that i got in fact i got a few pairs of like straw style sandals so it's a heeled sandal with like a crisscross detail over the front in this beautiful woven kind of straw fabric it's got the tie around the ankle so i feel like this is a heel that you're going to feel nice and secure in you're not going to be falling about all over the place because you've got a nice chunky thick heel as well as your ankle tied in. I think these would be perfect on a summer's holiday. So again, any winter sun, summer holidays booked, let me know if you have. Hey, this is the other pair that I got. They had these in navy as well. I just feel like a wedge is all the more comfy. You might as well be wearing flats. Again, you've got the little ankle strap. Okay, this is the last of the summer straw style sandals that I'm going for this year. And these are a little less dressy a bit more casual they are a lower chunky thick heel slider style nice and simple again that same kind of woven straw fabric in this beautiful light beige they had quite a lot of shoes actually from just a pound just saying okay i got two pairs of boots and one pair of chunky trainers so i'll show you these ones first Again, they had this pair of chunky trainers in three different colorways. I almost went for the black and white ones, which was pretty much where you can see gray on this one, it was black. So it had quite a lot of black running through it, but I thought this would just be a little more wearable. It's kind of like a, a warm gray toned chunky trainer. All my other chunky trainers are just white or cream. So to have that element of black and gray running through, I feel like might be a nicer alternative. Okay, so two pairs of autumn boots. I feel like I might end up stocking up on some more maybe next month. As we're getting into the cooler months, boots are the bane of my life because where can you store them? Nowhere, I need more space for boots. But I live in them. So these are a kind of like ankle, almost cowboy style because of the pointed toe and that heel shape. They also have like a slight cutout design here 
I love the buckle over the toe and the lace up design. A very simple black pointy toe is so flattering. It like elongates your leg, love it. Okay, the last pair of boots and in fact the last item. So I might as well bring this box down now. Probably my favorite pair of footwear that I've got this haul. They are almost riding style boots slash wellies. Let me show you. I miss riding so much. I did it once this year or last year. I used to do it all the time when I was younger, like every week. And I really miss it. So maybe I'm gonna go back to it. Maybe next year, we'll see. When we move house, we'll be in an area where there's quite a lot of horse riding. So maybe I'll treat myself to the odd lesson or two. So anyway, these are a riding style wide leg boot. So again, if you struggle with boots, for the width of the calf. These are designed to be wide. So they're actually really, really comfortable and versatile. And they're in that welly kind of fabric. So definitely good for like walking boots, just, I don't know, you're going somewhere where it's gonna be a bit muddy and wet. These would be really handy for that if you don't want a full on welly. Then these would be a nice, smarter looking alternative. I can't believe these are just five pounds, honestly. I think I'm gonna live in these. Even as a throw on, because of the wide leg, these are just gonna be one of those that if you've got leggings, cozy socks on, these are an easy put on, no lace up needed or buckles or anything, so it's very easy. So I feel like I'm gonna wear these a lot. So there we have it, that is everything that I got this time round from everything5pounds.com. I hope you enjoyed this autumn haul. Many more to come, I am sure, because it is my favorite season and I cannot wait for all the moving vlogs, the autumn homeware content as well. So thanks again to everything5pounds.com for working with me on today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know by giving me a thumbs up and put me a comment down below on which was your favourite item. Thanks once again for watching today's video and I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye guys!